had such a lovely morning this morning. It's just coming up to lunchtime now. We've had a bit of retail therapy going on in our caravan because Chris, he was a failure last night and he didn't edit the vlog. I'm just joking. He did edit the vlog, but because it was two days into one, there was so much footage, a whole two days worth. Would have had to pull an all night, he would have had to pull an all night, and we didn't come to bed until half past four anyway. And so we just had to finish the last quarter this morning. And whilst he was doing that, me and Isabel, I did a face mask. I sorted out my eyebrows because I'm not joking. My eyebrows are like down here somewhere. So I sorted them out the best I could. I did a face peel on my nose. And just apologise to everyone for the wind noise because it's going to be horrific. Uh, it will on be this really clip. windy. Um, got showered, washed my hair. It's still wet because I'm about to do something. I'm hoping I'm not going to regret. Pass me that. I like Chris cut my hair. <laughs> This is the point where Sarah not doesn't speak to me now for the rest of the holiday, so <laughs> here we go. Nervous. I am a bit nervous, but it's really, really ratty on the end, guys, and I cannot cope with it anymore. It's making it so knotty and just horrible, and it just it needs cutting. So, are you ready? No. It's dried on the bottoms now as well. It's going to be harder to cut, and it's windy, so it's going to be blowing everywhere. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't cope. Chris just said, do I just grab a bit like that and cut it? Babe, be really careful. Just like an inch. I just want. This, you're gonna yourself, this is not going to be a good. No, I'm not going to damage. Well for me. I'm not going to damage myself. No, but it's, no, but it's not going to end well for me. This is not going to end well for me, man. It just did. I'm not no hairdresser. I can't do this. Just, just go across. Just an inch. Just go across. What? Oh my gosh! He literally just grabbed a ponytail and snipped. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you cut hair. It's all right. Just it just snipped. grabbed a big ponytail of the hair and snipped. I mean, you know, it looks alright. It was like here before. Is it it might be a bit more than an inch. <laughs> is it straight? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's blowing a lot in the wind, so it's hard to tell, but yeah, yeah, it's straight. Straight, right, guys? What are we saying, man? It's straight enough. Is it, is it like the girl? Hold oh, no, on, I've just seen a couple of wispy bits I need to snip, but I reckon it's alright. It's good, man. Uh -uh. Little boy, <laughs> come here, Jace. You all right? I just came out on her Put shoes some on. shoes on. I know, but I'm going to get a shot. Isabel's going for the shot. <laughs> Guys, welcome to Fort William. O M G. This place is absolutely so beautiful we woke up this morning i couldn't really see it last night um we got here and it was pretty dark and i couldn't really see outside i woke up this morning and i was like omg look at this place seriously like does oh my, i don't even have words it's just absolutely beautiful so this morning we've just been watching the video that dad edited and it is absolutely amazing we, me and mum were just watching it now and we were all like we were literally nearly crying it is amazing the shots we got and oh it's just amazing i'm loving i'm just loving scotland right now i just i'm so excited for today for the next few weeks i just cannot wait puddle. that's not a puddle jace Oh, yeah, you need some more in here. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Come on, let's go! Come on! Good boy! Oh, yeah. Very big one! <laughs> That's a big one! What's up, guys? So, we're just walking from where the car is parked and where our little home was last night, on just on the, the harbour of Fort William, I guess it is. And then we're walking into the town to go and have an explore, see what's what. First of all, to hit up the post office because we accidentally came away with uh, our office store key. Office stock. I've got a tickle. <laughs> the stock room. <coughs> the stock room key. So our stock room key. We we accidentally came away with the stock room key. Uh, so we should post. We should post. Um, we should post some postcards. Proper retro. <laughs> that was really random. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, didn't you used to love doing postcards when you were younger? Yeah, Do you know, when you'd go abroad, when you'd go abroad, like, and I'd go away with my nana and she'd be like, let's post your mum a postcard. But I'd always get home before the postcard arrived. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're such a bot. I think, I think okay. the amount of times that we've bought postcards and then just like forgot to actually send them is Yeah, not because we write funny. them and then we're like, put that there, we'll post that tomorrow. Oh. And then it gets moved oh, we didn't and then we're post like, the where is it? <laughs> anyway, back to my story. Thanks, Sarah. You're and welcome. Isabel. 
Uh, we forgot the storage. We brought that. <laughs> See, this is why we've got to oh, talk. You can. Yeah. <laughs> we brought the storage key away with us. We've got a massive, the biggest baby and me delivery ever coming on Friday, so tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, and it is ridiculous how big it is. So we, the, the people that are looking after baby me right now need the key. So we need to send it next day delivery. Right now we need to get that done. And if we don't get it done today, we're in big trouble tomorrow. We're not. We can be, be in big trouble. Put, they'll be able to put most of it into like the the actual office that we work from. But it won't all. Fit. But no one will be able to. Yeah, it won't, it won't all fit. No one will be able to do no work. And we don't want that. Anyway, yeah, let's go. Jeez, you definitely owe daddy a kiss. Oh, we've just walked the wrong way. Oh, well, that was your fault. No, oh, that was yours. You march on ahead, vlog in. Oh, we all God. just follow you. It's back down that way. <laughs> Come on, Jace. You've got to save by the bell there, mate. Oh, hang on. No, that's if you driving. You've got it on driving directions. You've got the driving directions no, on, not the walking no, Yes, I you haven't. have. No, I They're haven't. They're the driving directions. Oh, my gosh. I'm literally. It's like 10 minutes that I just said driving. Three minutes. Directions. Yeah. Walk. Oh, it was on driving, though. Good. 10 minutes. But it it's was not. No, it wasn't, look. <laughs> we're on walk now. It's still showing the same. Oh, ignore it. It's, we're supposed to be going down this way anyway. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's definitely down this way. Our it's not. are literally the worst people of directions ever. Dad's literally the <laughs> one who gets it wrong every single time. Then Mum goes first, like, no, we're this way. And then it ends up literally not being the right, right way. Right, we're walking this way. I think what are you home. saying, man? I can read better directions than all of you. Right, so. give it to Isabel. Let's yeah. see if we get there. No way. I'm gonna... <laughs> You don't say bomb. <laughs> bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Wow, look at that. A whiskey one, whiskey two, whiskey three, whiskey four. Why do I think that's so funny? <laughs> Quite like to get some whiskey while we're here. It's proper, it's proper Scottish we don't drink whiskey. whiskey. I know, but just to do just it, you to know. Just to taste it. Yeah. So we're just in a. Um, do you know what shop this is called? Is it warehouse? Mountain, or? Warehouse. Mountain oh. warehouse. We're in Mountain Warehouse, and we're just looking at bits and things that we think might be useful. And we found these, which I actually planned on buying before we came away from Go Outdoors, but I didn't because they're cheaper Ooh, from here. So, so it's basically some cups. They've got like those clip things on so that you can clip them to your backpack because we've got a huge family flask but only two cups and so we thought these would be great to get um, so we can all have a drink of tea when we go out on walks and things and they should be £9 but they're reduced to £3.99 and they're also buy one get one free so it makes them £2 each which is a bargain. Chris has found a few fleeces and things. Are you alright? Chris has found a few fleeces and things that he's buying and now he's looking at some giant backpack things. These are like hiker backpacks, I think. That's amazing, man. That should be £120 and it should be reduced, or reduced, to 36 Because Chris has got a big backpack that he uses when we go out walking, but he literally only fits in his camera. Chris's tight side's coming out, I fam. I <laughs> he I loves the bag and it's like so cheap. Well, I mean, with regards to how much Is it, it was. Nice? Yeah, it's so nice. It's freaking massive. Me and Chris are so the opposite when it comes to shopping. I'm like, wow, this is cool. Should we buy this? This is awesome. Chris is like, I really like this. It's really useful. It's a great price, but maybe I shouldn't buy it. <laughs> Get it. No, pulling mummy's hair. Jace. That's not nice. I started pulling my hair. That's not nice. No, pulling Jace. No, Jace. No, Jace, you're pulling his hair. That's not nice. No, pulling hair hurts. No, that's not nice. No. I'm not sure when pubs and stuff open in Scotland, but I wouldn't have minded going for a quick drink at the Ben Nevis. Looks so, so sweet and nice inside. Anyway, we're just taking a walk out of the town now. We've done our post office run. I got myself a new bag, which I'm really buzzing about because I'm going to be able to fit all my camera stuff in, plus all my other stuff that I had to cart around and have my, my hands full daily. And um, we're going to go back, get a little bit of late lunch, and then we're taking a drive out to Two places today, two really cool places today, and um, I'm not going to tell you what they are, but you're going to get to see in a few seconds anyway. So we saw good. So that was a productive little trip until we saw a ton of you guys, so many of you guys. So if you came up and said hi, thank you for doing so. Nice one. And uh, so that was a really fun little trip into the town of Fort William. So we're having an early dinner. 
dinner because we're planning on doing quite a bit of driving a little bit later this afternoon and i gotta say guys it's a dinner with a view we're surrounded by absolute yeah. beautifulness here in fort william we're sat on a lock still in the place where we slept last night but i had to, <laughs> had to show this because we've just made a really quick dinner yeah. So we've thrown in some pizzas in the oven and <laughs> everyone's freaking out because I've done this. <laughs> oh look how cheesy that is. So I've cut like a wonky piece out because I just needed a space to put some mayonnaise because you know trying to save water without having to wash up so I've just put it on back on this tray. <coughs> and <laughs> Isabel's like mum how can you do that? Does that annoy anyone else? This. No mum. <laughs> I've made a mess of the pizza. <laughs> You've ruined it. I've ruined the pizza. <laughs> Does this annoy anyone else? <laughs> Irritates me actually. I'm gonna eat it now. Isabel's looking in disgust. <laughs> So we just took a 20 or so minute drive from Fort William and we've now arrived at Glen Glenfinnan Viaduct which is actually the train line that's filmed in Harry Potter, like the actual one. And we met some my fam this morning and they said you've got to come up here and see it before you go. And so it wasn't too far from where we were staying because we've just gone over to the visitor centre. I think it might be closed. It is getting quite late in the day now. Um, so we're not too sure. We're parked in the car park at the bottom. We're not too sure how far the walk is. And Jace has just fallen asleep. So I think we might just have a cup of tea here in the car park and let Jace sleep for half an hour because he has only slept for about half an hour already. So we just checked in at the visitor centre and it's literally just a five minute walk from the car park over there up to the summit where you can see the Glenfinnan viaduct uh, that was featured in Harry Potter which is really cool. Um, it's a really really cheap three pounds to park all day here and you can um, you can park all day so that's really really good. And then and, five minute. Yeah five minute hike up. Five minute hike up to the top. Up a hill to see the, uh, to see the viaduct. Well five, the, five minutes for a couple maybe 15 for us. <laughs> With Jace, definitely. <laughs> he was just woken up from a nap and he's a little bit fragile. He's a little bit fragile right now, are you, Bubba? I've got some bad news for you, babe. Can't fly drones, it just doesn't Can't fly about. drones here. What? Can't fly drones. Oh, what is with <laughs> Scotland and trying to ruin my fun, man? Trying to ruin all these shots? <sighs> oh well. I literally just charged my drone in the RV because I used it this morning. <laughs> I know, I was really buzzing about flying it through the viaduct, but, oh well. You can't. It's there against the rules. Is that just here though? Is that just if you come to see the viaduct from here? Or what about if you sneak and see the viaduct from somewhere else? It's not a... No, I think, no, I don't think you can get around that, to be honest. Definitely not. Come here, big mm. boy. What's that? Little boy. Little boy. Little boy. Can you touch him? Careful. What is he? There's a big oh. shield bug on the step What's that Jace is that? looking at right now. Talk about beetle. shield bug. Oh my gosh, we're oh. right story about what shield bug. It? <laughs> I don't know if that is it, is it? No, no it's, it's a beetle. beetle. I think it's yeah, a giant beetle. Is it? Is it a, be a it's beetle? It's a beetle, yeah, it's like a blue <gasps> beetle. Look at it, Jace. Wow, Jace. Yeah. <laughs> I love when you... I want to pick it up. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh, oh no, it's on its back. Oh no. Yay, yeah. you got yourself back up. Yeah. Say bye-bye. Yeah, don't let him stand on it. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, we have a hilarious story about Dad. Okay, so basically, we're in the kitchen, like in, in the RV the other day, um, and there's a small shield bug, and I said, Dad, don't freak out, because I didn't want to freak out, so I started wafting it everywhere. So I said, Dad, don't freak out. And he went, What? What? And I was like, I was like, Right, there's a big shield bug on your on your back, like on the back of your hair. And he went, Oh my God, get off me! Get off me! And he was like, Esme, touch it! And Esme ran away, and I was on the bed, and I was like, Nope. We are not touching it. And he ran out the door and he was like, you know, Get off me! Get It was a really big shield bug and he was like, Get it off me! I think I might I think I might have screamed by accident. No, he literally <laughs> like went Wah! like it was so it was so no, funny. But, but that thing was massive, oh. man. I'm not playing that thing. No, was it huge. was pretty big. Wow, Isla! How cool is that?
So just 10 minutes outside of Fort William, there is a lovely little town, I think it would be a town, on the same lock called Corpatch. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Sam, I'm starting to pronounce it, so I'm going to go with that one. And it's the number one right here where we are right now. We've just pulled up. It took us a little bit longer to get here than we thought it would do because I took the wrong route. But we made it. We're all good. It's in a, a car park. There's Nessie just by the canal. And the lock is just just beyond the canal, just over there. And in the, the this is like the number one spot to come to view the summit of Ben Nevis, according to like a, a local guide from a local who lives here. So we thought we'd try it out. There's also a shipwreck that we're gonna walk down to as well, which looks really cool. That is Ben Nevis in the background. I've got the wrong lens on right now to show you that because I've got my wide on. I'm gonna put my other one on and zoom in and um, and get some get some cool shots of him right now. I did just think it was interesting to point out that because we're so far north in the country, it's kind of like, uh, it doesn't really get dark here. Like right now, it's really light and it feels like, for me, it feels like it's around five o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually nine o'clock in the evening right now here. So, but it feels like it sh should be much, much earlier in the day. Last night at midnight, it still wasn't dark. So I don't think, I think because obviously we're so far north, because of the way the earth's tilted, that, you know, we don't get, you don't get properly dark here. It gets twilight but not actually properly dark in the summer months. I know it does in the winter, but in the summer months, like in Iceland and places like that, I don't think it gets properly dark here. I'm gonna look it up on Google later, but it's definitely gonna be something to do with that because the days are long up here in Fort William, they're long. is known as the Corpatch Wreck and has become kind of like a monument photography spot for people passing through and it's super duper interesting because its name, what was the name? It's MV Day Springs, MV Day Springs and it was built in 1975 to catch herring and mackerel. Oh, Sorry, quickly. <laughs> I don't mind bugs. No, um, a oh, a crab. <laughs> oh, a dead one. Yeah, but it's dead. Aww. Dead crab. Um, yeah, we were basically we were all just reading up about the history of this boat, so I thought I'd tell you guys. It was built in year 2000. No. Oh no, sorry, it stopped its activity in year 2000. Yeah. And it was docked in the Fort William area in 2000. And then where was it? Was it was a storm? When was the storm? And then there was a storm in 2011, well remembered. And the elements were so strong that it unleashed the mooring hold and pushed the boat all the way over here where it's been ever since. Seriously, can we just take a minute to appreciate the view behind you as well? It is absolutely wow. stunning. I mean, Look really at this. It up, but like, it looks it's amazing. so peaceful and stunning and beautiful. Oh my goodness. See an otter. We don't know if you. What? What is it? Amoeba. Is it? Wait. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Can you see its head? Oh look! Wow! I can't even see it. <laughs> that looks I'm trying to get so it on the camera. We can see it. We can see it, guys. Look, it's a tiny black thing, but it looks tiny on camera. But it's ma it's but it's not massive in real life. Look. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't even, it's, is it an otter, an otter or a beaver or I don't know what it is. I don't really know. It's cute. It's the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> it's the Loch Ness. Guys, we've seen the Loch Ness Monster. If any of you guys know what that might be, comment down below and let us know. That is crazy. Oh it's my so gosh, cool. it's adorable. <laughs> 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 big up, big up, big up, big up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. Get pretty, get pretty, get pretty. 
Pretty, get them goats. Get them goats. Get them, pretty. Get them, pretty. Go get them. Good girl. Get them, pretty. Come on, the girls are coming. Girls, stop, girls, stop, girls, stop. Go, go to Isabel. Get them, pretty. Get them, pretty. Oh, 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 crash! What did Pretty do? You be careful, Pretty. <laughs> What's she doing, Jay's? What's she doing? Oh gosh, we've got Chris now. <laughs> Going to race the girls. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Oh, how do you feel after being beat again, isn't it? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm out of breath now, but you honestly look, and so fast that you literally look like um, 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 Edward from Twilight. Oh, when I run? Yeah, because <laughs> he runs exactly like that and he's really fast and you're really fast. Definitely not as good looking as him, but I'll take that. <laughs> so this is home for the night. Oh my gosh, look how many bugs are out there. I did contemplate going standing outside to end the vlog. No way am I getting bitten uh -huh. alive by those. But we've got the lock just here, which is just absolutely stunning. And then Ben Nevis here. Hopefully we're gonna get a nice... Uh, look at that, it looks amazing. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. We've got plans to move on from Fort William tomorrow and we're really excited to share that adventure with you all so make sure you come back here tomorrow we vlog every single day and upload every single day at 5 p.m british time gmt we're in gmt at the minute or plus one i always get this wrong and just uk time we'll uk <laughs> uk time 5 p.m <laughs> see you back here tomorrow guys good night good night mm -hmm.